Now. While walking up the stairs, I can, um, had just come home from a journey of looking for something. So um, I was walking up the stairs and found purslane growing in the desert rose pot next to the house. So that's perfect. Um, purslane is a wild edible and, and a useful herb that grows in almost any condition. Uh, it's really tolerant. In Arizona, it's considered a noxious weed, so it's very tolerant to that weather. Um, <clears throat> and to be sure that I've identified it correctly, I always have my Peterson Field Guide, uh, and it's got a picture of purslane here. And when I compare the two, it's very similar. So, not not just similar, it's the same. So, I know I've got the right plant. Um, Personally, it is really incredible. It's been shown to have trace amounts of omega-3s, alpha linolenic acids, one of the only uh, leafy plants that has that, of course, flaxseed. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, with this, it also it contains high amounts of vitamin A, vitamin C, some B. Uh, it's got magnesium, calcium, potassium. So it's a pretty great little wild edible weed. Uh, and it's been used for constipation, dysentery, inflammation of the urinary system, liver problems. In Chinese medicine, they use it to, uh, put, they apply it as a poultice uh, for snake bites, um, insect stings, etc. And with this one, I'm actually going to take, you can see these little flowers, and then there are these little black seeds underneath. Try to, they're very small. I'm going to take those seeds and let those dry out, and then I can grind those into a very nutritious flour. Uh, as for the purslane itself, I'm going to cut it uh, at the junction of where it branches out, so that way it will continue to rejuvenate. And I'm just going to take about a cup worth of it, and um, I'm actually going to eat the purslane fresh. I'm going to throw it in a salad today because it's just really delicious. and. For harvesting it, I've got my bag, personally. Uh, it says the date and the time, so I can keep track of it with all of my other wild herbs I have harvested upstairs. Um, and that's it. Uh, it's gonna, once I get these, all these little beautiful seeds out, and a better way to do this is just to take a white sheet and to kind of shake, you know, the, the plant seeds onto it. Um, but for this purpose, you can see, and this is the art that I'm going to dry out between the pages of a book, if you will, <laughs> for the assignment, and I'm going to enjoy a delicious salad for lunch. So that's it. Thanks.